old man. So, y'all know we still got the aftermath of Diddy being arrested. A lot of people are talking and giving their opinions. And the first person we can go over today is Lil Boosie. So, Boosie says this right here. I feel Diddy in jail for basically doing what every other famous entertainer has done. Flew chicks out for threesomes. He just freakier. We actually gonna call women prostitutes who fly in willingly to be with their partners for sex. If that's the case, if you've been flewed out and has sex, you should be labeled a prostitute. If that's the case, that's 80% of the women reading this. Y'all following that number? Ladies, let me know. Do you follow that number? You're a celebrity. You got to fly whopping. How else you get the whop? You're never in one place. When I saw that video, I was pissed off at this nigga like he really got a problem. But facing life in prison for doing basically what so many other entertainers has done, I disagree. Now, Bosey, chill. There are lawyers online searching high and wide to go ahead and find people like you saying things like this and using this statement to go ahead and put a lawsuit side on you chill but let's look at some reactions homie said boosie did say i just left new york city just hook up with p diddy damn <laughs> Take all these old ass niggas phones, bro. Boosie defending the dealer is something I thought I'd never see. He don't think nobody be guilty. He don't think nobody be guilty. That's true. How many rappers carry 1,000 bottles of lube? <laughs> Boosie didn't listen to none of that press conference. Perfect example of people hear what they want. Nah, uh, sit this one out. I don't think Boosie read the indictment, but Boosie, 1,000 bottles of baby oil? If Puff made good use of all that baby oil, he will be able to slide his way up out of this mess. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it pushing. Now, what else we got, man? So this person made a statement and um I, I agree with this. It says, I think the difference between Jay-Z and his peers is that he grew up. He transitioned out of rap, got a wife and settled down. A lot of them dudes still running around like acting like Nino Brown and now they're getting caught up in all these scandals. That's a fact, bro. Your wife is like a police of her own, bro. <laughs> like, y'all know your lady, whomever, they're like a police of their own. You gotta make sure you on point with you and no charges from her. So that could slow niggas down and keep them in check just like that. But if you out here living that bachelor life, you just do what you want to. And now you gotta lean on, lean on law enforcement, I guess, to hold you in check. But all jokes aside, I have been saying this for a while, bro. Jay-Z probably did do some wild things in his past when he was younger, for sure, for sure. And it doesn't mean that those things can't come back and haunt him, like you seen what happened with with Cosby and shit, but the thing about it is, like, if you're continuing to do things over and over again, that's just giving you more opportunities to be caught up in some bullshit. The probability just rises because there's more offenses. So once again, not saying that Jay Z's a saint, but the rate of him doing wild things in the recent years, I'm sure in no way in comparison to what Diddy's been doing. All right, let's keep it pushing. So Mace showed up to the Is What It Is podcast with the orange tie. People, what he had to say about that, man. Mace, how you feeling today? Ooh. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And the yeah. orange isn't representing anything today. Not today, I'm not assuming. today. I'm chilling today. Chilling today, okay. Is just your tie supposed to say something? Yeah. It's saying something? It, it could be. All it right. just might be. It's a statement. That's why I asked. All right. All right. But no statement to be made. No statements to be made. That heard you. Okay. Today. It might, it might be code orange. It might be code orange. There's a lot going on these days. Code orange. Code orange. Noted. The more you know, guys, the more you know. <laughs> Hell nah, bro. The orange represent, you know, the, the prison orange jumpsuits. For all my children that weren't left behind but still hanging out with us, I got you. I got you. Next story. All right, so as of now, what's going on is Diddy is um, appealing the bail decision yesterday. And one of the provisions they're trying to, you know, use to negotiate is Diddy saying that he's not going to have any female visitors at his crib if he's out on bail. Diddy, I don't think they just worried about just females, my boy. You had all that baby oil for a reason. But it says in docs obtained by TMZ, Diddy's legal team says if he's released on bail, the security company that keeps a log of all visitors to his Miami Beach home will hand over those logs to the government nightly in order to be fully transparent about who Diddy is contacting. They also say Diddy will limit all visitors to family, property caretakers, and friends who are not co-conspirators in the federal indictment. Specifically, they say Diddy will restrict female visitors, with the only exceptions being family members or mothers of his children. Uh, we have a bail appeal scheduled for tomorrow at 3.30 in front of Judge Carter, the district judge assigned to this case. Um, I think that we, we, we made the points that we've been wanting to make. Um, I think it came out. Mr. Combs is a fighter. He's going to fight this to the end. He's innocent. Uh, he came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid. He's not afraid of the charges. 
There's nothing that the government said in their presentation today that changes anyone's mind about anything. He's been looking forward to this day. He's been looking forward to clearing his name, and he's going to clear his name. Uh, and we're going to stand by his side as, as he does. We believe in him wholeheartedly. Um, he didn't do these things. This was a 10-year relationship. There's no coercion. There's no crime. There's basically just you know, so someone who brought a civil case and now uh, is, is finding themselves as a witness in a, in a criminal case. And we're going to fight this case uh, with everything we have, as is he. And eventually, he's going to be shown to be innocent. Um, and so tomorrow we fight again, and we fight. We'll fight every day until we don't have to fight anymore. Why did the arrest happen last night instead of today as planned? Uh, I, I don't know. I, the question is, why did it happen last night instead of today? I, I don't know, know the answer to that question. Are you going to be we, we, I just want to make one point very clear. We, 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 we have no power. All we can do is show good faith. He got on a plane and he came here. And if he stayed here for one day before the case started, or for one year before the case started, he was going to stay as long as he needed to stay. It ends up being only 12 days. That's fine. That's what the government wanted to do. The government didn't want him to turn himself in. He came here to turn himself in. Why doesn't the government want him to turn himself in? Because then they can't ask for detention. So they go and they arrest him. They arrest a guy who came to New York to turn himself in. But we are going to make all these points again, again tomorrow, and we'll make it as much as we can until we get him out. Will you appeal the mail? So that's all I have. How is he feeling? Will you appeal the mail? Yeah, like tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wait, what, what was the question? Will you appeal the no bail? We're Will appealing. you appeal the no bail? Yeah, we're no bail. No bail. Okay. Where are you appealing? Oh, I'm sorry. We are we're appealing the, the, the decision to hold him without bail. When do you guys court appearance? Tomorrow at 3.30. Otherwise? 3.30. Same place. Will we be here for the bail? Bail, bail appeal. Bail appeal. Bail appeal tomorrow at 3.30. Same court. Different judge. He's, he's, doing, he's doing fine. He's a fighter. He's a fighter and he's going to fight this. All right. I'm going to go. Where is he being held? I don't get into that stuff. But we shall see how they react to that decision, though. You know, now we got tripped at the TWD speaking on the situation. See what the mail of 305 got to say real quick. I don't know what's going on. The next person asks me if I've been in one of them parties, I'm going to slap the shit out you. They don't like my kind at them parties. There's a few other real niggas in hip hop that I don't believe ever been invited to one of them parties. I'm live right now. I don't want to hear that shit. Let me explain something to y'all. This is not the time to go off killing yourself, taking no medicine, drinking no bleach, eating no motherfucking poisonous candy and all that, blowing your motherfucking brains out. You know what you did? Go ahead and face the consequences. For, all, for those of y'all that are grown adults, we don't care who you laid down and had sex with. It's just, it's gonna get exposed right now. This is a good time to come out the closet. You know what I'm saying? But what confuses me is, a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant? They charge him with the Rico? Hmm. Could have been worse. Could have been the Frico Act. <laughs> Damn. But may I be the first to say this has nothing to do with hip hop. This got something to do with them freaky ass niggas. Can't charge the whole hip hop community with this one. Uh uh. Everybody take your charge. Boy, trick crazy as hell, boy. Speaking of, I may have to go ahead and pull up the Sunday's eatery. In a few, you feel me? It's about to be that lunchtime. About to be that lunchtime. But we gonna see. But y'all, it's your turn. Let me know what you gotta say in the comment section below. I'm gonna get up out of here though. This has been another update with space. Yo.